Hiya. Um, my name's Hazel Robinson. Um, I have a daughter that suffers with a disease called cystic fibrosis. Um, there's a drug there that could potentially save and change my daughter's life. And it's not getting funded. And uh, the reason I'm making this is because I've been looking on Facebook and I'm just, uh, people are tagging me in uh, memories of a year ago where I got a petition together and got nearly 40,000 signatures. 40,000 signatures of people saying to approve this drug, basically to save my child's life, to save 550 other people in this country, their lives, who have CF and younger, kids younger than that as well. Little babies, we're talking about. But instead of the drug being funded, what happened was, in the last year, my daughter has spent eight, nearly eight months of that whole time in hospital. In that space of that year, her little lungs have deteriorated so badly that now the doctors are telling us that we might need to go to Newcastle for her to get somebody else's lungs. Another little child has to die in order for somebody else, to, for her to get lungs to live. Can you imagine if she had got that drug a year ago? Maybe we, I wouldn't be having to have this discussion. But I tell you what, the reason why I'm making this is because I'm so bloody pissed off with this country. I don't know if you can see in the background there. That is where me and my two sons that's where we slept last night, on that. The reason why we slept on that is because, and we were glad to get, really glad to get, is because we live in Longford, and because the, I cannot, I have two little boys here, there's one, and I have another little fella there. Four and one. And I'm trying to keep my family together. I have to bring the boys, plus I have to, be a dear for my daughter and if she gets a few hours out of hospital every day I can go over get her bring her out for a few hours and get her back the whole point is I have to the whole point is is that for us to, to get any sort of health care in this country because we live in the Midlands we have to drive two hours every single time so if my daughter rings me and she is really really bad, bad like coughing up blood and I'm not there and I'm with my boys Two hours it takes for me to get up to her. Can you imagine how scary that is for a little girl? I'm so friggin' angry. I've tried crying into, into the face of a phone and going on to social media. I've tried going to newspapers. I've tried petitions. I've tried protesting. I have tried every bloody thing that I can possibly think of. The only thing that, the one I've tried to email in Simon Harris, the only thing now that we have is to talk into a face yes, of a phone. Sir. RTE will not, RTE are scum. <coughs> All CF patients, people with chronic illnesses got out and protested on the, in front of Leinster House a couple of, um, the month before Christmas. It got on the news that night, a greyhound, a freaking fucking greyhound, got 10 minutes. CF patients, people with chronic illnesses, were out marching and they got, at the very end, they didn't even make the, the, the headlines on the RT news that, that night. Is that not important? Are their lives not important? Now, uh, my suggestion is, because I'm so friggin' angry, and even at this stage, if we do get the bloody drug, the damage that's been done to my little girl's fucking lungs in the last year is irreversible it's irreversible and they're still selling us they're talking they're talking they're talking we don't have time for all this bloody talking i'm sick of talking no i my suggestion is the next demonstration or protest or whatever have you we go and we block off the ports we block off the airport. Nothing comes in, nothing goes out. We're cribbing and crying over RTE. We don't want RTE. We want worldwide media. This is only one example of how our country is treating us so friggin' bad. Our kids, bad. They do not give a shit about us. All they care about is their own self-worth and how much money they can make and how many, how much pensions they can get and how comfy their arses and their kids' arses and their grandkids' arses are going to be sitting for the next generation after generation. They don't give a crap about everyday people. 
They never have. Where is our sense of pride gone? It's gone. Remember that? Oh, I'm so proud to be Irish. I'm freaking disgusted to be Irish right now. Disgusted. Why? Because I have my kids sleeping on that. I'm disgusted to be Irish. And I want our pride back. We went out to the, to the demonstration now and, we talk, and we marched for so many different reasons that it got confusing. Now we need to be marching for one thing and one thing only, and that is to get and take our country back. Take our country back. Make it a place where we're proud to live again. A place where we're proud to be bloody Irish. What happened to that? I don't know. The only way to talk to anybody or to get anything out is through social media. And I just hope to God that people just get riled up and say they're sick of it. I can't be the only person who's so angry and so upset. Like, uh, do you know what I mean? Can we not just get together for one reason, one reason only? We want our country back and we're sick of being taken the friggin' piss out of. Please, please, just please, if I can ask for anything, the next time we do a demonstration or anything like that, when we're going to show our government exactly what we want, do you know what I mean? And make it bloody clear. Just please, please, just come out and support us because I don't know, like, this is wrong. Like, my little boys, look, look, my Tyler, look. What? What's that? Me. I know, it's you. My little boy shouldn't have to be sleeping on that last night.